show you the resin in the tank. You see the resin level's about there. This is all resin and this is all water. And of course it's under pressure, it's the same level, same pressure as the uh, as the well system. So this is your fiberglass resin tank, resin, water, and this is the freeboard in the tank. This is the brine tank for your water softener. It holds approximately 300 or so pounds of salt. The only thing that connects the brine tank to the water softener is this small line right here, 3 8 line. And uh, what happens is when the, uh, when the resin tank is regenerating, going through brine draw, it sucks the salt water through this uh, small line here. And then when it goes into fast rinse refill, it uh, refills this tank with water. So I'm going to go ahead and take the lid off. And as you can see, we put directions on the lid of our tank so you know what to do. Okay, this is the uh, this is the brine tank, and we can get a close up of the uh, brine tank here. Focus on in. So what you have are uh, you have a float, which is right in here, which you can't really see. This just shuts the water off when it gets up to a certain level. And um, right now, I, I scooped some of the salt out of the way so you can see the water level. That's a normal water level for the standard, uh, standard settings on a water softener. And, um, you know, you can keep it at any level you want as long as, as long as it's above the water level in the tank, you're fine. Okay, as um, a little bit of a review here, so the water comes in from that filter goes into your water softener valve, goes down through the resin in the tank, goes all the way down to the bottom to the riser tube I showed you earlier, comes up the riser tube, goes back into the valve, and then it goes up this line to a carbon filter, a GAC filter, which we install after all of our systems. So it goes through the filter, then it goes on up this way, and as you can see, I'll get a close up here. It goes to the house. Next, I'm going to show you uh, going to show you the cycles that a water softener goes through. First, we're going to go ahead and put it through backwash. I'm going to put it through backwash, and then I'm going to shut the light off. I'll shut the light off so you can see what the water softener does inside. Okay, with the light off, you can see the water softener resin slowly rising in the tank. What happens when it's in this cycle? You can see that I showed you earlier, the water is going down the tube and it's reversing the flow of the water in the tank. And the water's coming down that tube and it's lifting the resin up. See it's starting to flow around, so it looks kind of like a lava light. That resin's floating around in there, stirring around. And what this is doing is releasing all the accumulated hardness iron, which this, uh, this customer happens to have some iron in the water. Um, and it's very important with a water softener that it be able to expand in the tank. A lot of the uh, store-bought water softeners don't, don't have a tank with this freeboard. What they have is this valve essentially in a tank that's about this tall. And those types of water softeners get get clogged with iron and hardness deposits because they can't flush themselves out. So we're going to go ahead and let you get a close up here and let it run for a few minutes so you can see what this water softener is doing. You can see the resin floating around in there, moving around, doing its thing. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the brine draw. Normally, the system would be running for longer than this, but I'm going to speed things up. Since we're uh, taping this, I'm going to make sure that we get everything on here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it through brine draw. Okay, now it's in brine draw. And the water is going through the uh, same pathway that it does in the service mode. The water is coming in, going down this way. You can see the res resin settling back down in the tank. 
Uh, but what it's also doing is it's sucking the salt water out of the brine tank. And it's slowly, slowly draining that brine tank of salt water. So the salt water is slowly going down through here. And then it's going to go down through the resin. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the light back on and give you a close-up of the water dropping inside the brine tank. Alright. See if I can focus in there real good. You can also, you can already see where the level used to be. And these Autotrol valves have very good suction. They, uh, they don't clog very easily and they're able to, uh, to go through brine draw in a very efficient manner. You can see the water disappearing in the tank very slowly. Give you a brief explanation as to how water softeners operate. The resin in the tank, when it comes in contact with salt water, salt or sodium chloride, the sodium ion sticks to the resin beads and gives the resin beads a weak positive charge. Iron, hardness, lead, cadmium, zinc, they all have a stronger positive charge for the resin. So what happens is the, the iron or the hardness stick to the resin in the tank that I showed you earlier and then a sodium ion is released into the water. It's called ion exchange, cation exchange, which means it's exchanging positive ions. So essentially what you have is you have the hardness mineral sticking to the beads and exchanging for the sodium ion which is released into the water. All water softeners work the same way. It's the components that set water softeners apart, and that's why I'm going to the time of explaining to you the different components of uh, Mr. Water's water softeners and the EcoSoft water treatment systems, 32,000 grain water softener and its components. Okay, the water softener is still in brine draw mode. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and manually put it into uh, fast rinse and then refill. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, come over here. Going to go ahead and manually put it through a, through its next cycle. 